Hey guys, it's me. Now, I just want to say, I apologize for any of the content I've been uploading lately. I haven't uploaded things in quite a bit because, you know, school caught up with me. Especially with the PSATs that happened today. Let me just say, that was such an experience. So, to bring it up to all you guys, I decided to do a room tour 2021. So, let me know what you guys think of this. So, let's get this going. But, before I start, you may be wondering... What the fuck is this on my head and everything? Depending on where I upload this, uh, I'll make a video about this on why I look like this. It's a new next chapter video coming soon. So, let's start this for real this time. And one more thing! <laughs> I keep forgetting about this. The quality may be a bit better than usual. Well, it's because I am uploading this from my phone rather than my own dedicated camera. Now... To answer why I'm doing this is because, well, I've recognized my phone has done a lot better quality than this actual camera here. And it's because it's way more convenient to me to have my phone on me and just to import it to my laptop so that I can just edit all of it. Don't worry, this quality won't last long. I'm upgrading to a DSLR soon. Now, let's get this going for real this time. This is what I was recording with. Yeah. First thing when you enter, you're gonna see this mirror. Hello. Now, the reason why I put this here is because, I don't know, also, dirty. Over here is my bed. If you saw last time, I didn't make my bed because I was too lazy, but now, I finally did. Ugh, why did I do it? Oh, and over here is the glasses box, along with some masks. Here is a bunch of shit I have that I collected from across the house and just keep it here because my ADHD and OCD won't allow me to put them where they need to be because problems and above here some posters that i have to complement this room minecraft poster and spider-man into the spider-verse poster because of how much i loved that movie still the greatest movie i've ever watched in my entire life you should really give it a watch i really love it my brother's bed it speaks for itself down here we have my old shoes that i used to wear in middle school to high school I don't wear them anymore because, uh, I don't know, I just grew out of them. Over here, we have a mask I have on the floor for some reason. And a computer. My current main machine. The HP Laptop iCore 15, I think, whatever it's called, I don't know. <sighs> this has been my main machine since June, July, something like that. And I've loved it ever since. I keep it under the bed because there's no room for it because of how huge it is. And it's the most safe, considering that there's nothing you can fall off of or anything. It's on a flat surface. Over here, a Nike shoebox that has boots. And my current shoes, they're not in the box, they're in the living room. Right here, we have some accessories in my backpack. Including some speakers, backup earphones, outlets, uh, phone mounts, car mounts, etc. Literally, the tech bag. This used to be my school book bag from middle school, but again, I grew out of it. Over here, we have a tech box. Something that's a bit more interesting. Right here, we have a case full of Wii U and Xbox 360 games called Extras. Right here, we have some Wii Motes or Wii accessories right here. I use on my Wii. I don't play the Wii as much, so I just put them in a Ziploc bag because I don't want them to be getting damaged or anything. And just in case if I want to play it again. Right here is have we have the very first game I've ever gotten personally from my Xbox 360, Cars 2. I don't know why I liked this game. Playing this game nowadays, it's bizarre. Right here we have essential cables and controllers like this ps3 controller that's unbranded that i use for my ps3 obviously power cable for my xbox 360 power cable for xbox one we everything and a and a third party ps3 controller because i'm too cheap to get that ebay shit back to the box yes they just barely fit over here we have some guitars a bass an acoustic, and an electric. I like playing these every now and then, but they're not mine, they're my brother's. 
Over here we have an air conditioner that I like to put on whenever it gets too hot here because for some reason with this room, when you turn on the air conditioner, it gets way too cool, but when you turn it off, it gets way too hot in here. So I only turn this on when I really want to, and I just lower down the temperature when it's time to go to sleep because I do get hot when I sleep, but when it gets too cold, I wake up in the middle of the night. So I gotta set it to a very specific temperature so I can sleep peacefully. Right here we have a PS5 guitar, my brother's ear pods that he just keeps on the floor for some reason. And uh, football because why not? Canon Vixia HFR80. I've been using this since 2019. It has never died on me or anything and I love it. But it's Asian. <sighs> this is a tripod mount that I have on my personal tripod over here. I take it off every now and then when I want to use my camera on another tripod like this. Like those mini pods. Right here we have some scissors that I use. I don't know, I just use these every now and then whenever I need to unbox something or I just need it for what else. Right here we have a broken Samsung phone. My very first personal phone from 2017. I broke this for a skit in my school's local news. Don't ask. Right here we have an Exignia port. I barely use this. I just got this because I needed this for my Chromebook. I didn't need it for my Chromebook. This was a waste of money. I'm keeping it though. Blue microphone, that's the brand, don't ask. Uh, this is my very first microphone. Well, this is not my first microphone, the first microphone I've used. I borrowed this from my sister because my sister has this. I'm very jealous of her, so I asked her if I could use this for my next couple of videos. Over here we have a self-explanatory Nintendo Switch. The worst investment I ever invested on. And I have this webcam right here that my sister gave me. I didn't borrow it, I got it. Ah, <sighs> self-explanatory. Uh, I really like her music so much. Ah. A PlayStation 5 webcam. I got this because I thought I was gonna live stream on Twitch from now on. That wasn't the case. This was a waste of money. I'm keeping it though. Aw, oh, and there's my cat. And a collection of plushies, plushes, and everything. Uh, look at this yourself. I don't feel like explaining all of them. Now here's the mother load. A treasure I've been collecting throughout all my years. And something you've been eyeing on for quite some time. The gaming shelf. Starting now. I just want to say firstly, the game shelf is very dirty and has so much shit on it. That's the heads up. Now, on to the first section. Right here is my PlayStation 3 Slim that I got as a present for my graduation back in middle school. Right here we have a original Xbox One from 2013 that I got on launch day. Well, my brother got on launch day, but he just lended it to me. Right here we have a original branded PS3 guitar. It's collecting some dust as you can see because I don't use my PS3 as much anymore because I barely have any games for it. Right here we have some PS3 games that are My Hero Academia movie I never watched because I just got this because I thought it was neat. Right here we have a Duracell flashlight. I don't know why I got this. We only got this for a vacation when I was at Pennsylvania and it was really dark so we needed a flashlight. So uh, right here we have my original phone from 2019 that I've used a lot in my channel. Uh, this was my favorite phone ever, but I had to move on. I, and, of course, as you know, I switched to iPhone. Right here we have the greatest purchase ever made from a cheap store. An LCD screen cleaning kit that I did not know I needed in my life so badly. I used this for cleaning a lot of TVs or screens that are just collecting dust and dirt and everything. I just hate seeing that, so I just used this. My voice is disappearing because of too much talking. Second section, a bit more cleaner, and a lot more interesting. Some Nintendo 3DS games, uh, and the DS game I just don't play. My mom just got this for me for Christmas one at one point, and I never played it. Thanks, Mom. Right here we have some PS4 games right here, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and World War II. I have a Call of Duty person, as you can tell. This disc is Spider-Man Miles Morales. I forgot to put this in the case. And this is one of the best games I've ever played in years since Left 4 Dead 2. I really like this game. It's a must try. So yeah, must play. Right here we have a phone that I used. It was a hand-me-down phone. Uh, yeah, it's seen better days, of course. We right have an NES controller. And right here we have a 
don't ask. I already have some PS5 games, PS4, and Xbox One games. Read it for yourself. I don't feel like reading all this. My voice is disappearing. And some Nintendo Switch games, My Card 8 Deluxe, and a bootleg NES Classic Edition that has 500 games on it. Honestly, I prefer this than the original since the original only has 30 games. This has 500 games, both in the US, bootleg, and region free games. So yeah, I play this a lot. But it's missing its cables, and I'm really pissed off, and I'm trying to find them dearly because it uses a very certain specific cables, and uh, I hate them. It's proprietary, basically. This shelf used to be the cleanest, but my brother put so much shit in here, I just don't feel like moving them. It's a whole shelf dedicated to a lot of Xbox 360 games. There's a lot of Xbox 360 games because that's the games I've been collecting since I was a little kid. And, you know, it filled up everywhere and I had to put two more on top. As well as Nintendo Wii games like Sonic, Sega, All Stars Racing, Samurai Shadow, Sonic the Black Knight, the worst Sonic game in my opinion, and Bakugan, Defenders of the Core, and Dragon Quest. I never got into those games except Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing. Original Xbox 60 that I've been playing since I was a little kid. Of course, it's aging, as you can see. Another Xbox 60 this was my brother's, but the disc tray never worked. We got scammed from GameStop. I remember. Right here, we have a broken Acer product that I got. I'm planning to use this for a future video again. I broke this for a skit in my previous video, but I want to break it again. Right here we have a random VHS tape, Mouse Hunt. I don't like this movie. We just have it because it belongs to my sister, so, eh. Right here we have a lot of paperwork and shit, uh, And right here is a bit more interesting. Some records. Moon globe that lights up in the dark. I just got this because it's pretty neat and I am afraid of the dark, so yeah. Right here, the model load of all things in my room. The PlayStation 5 that I got for its original price back in April. And honestly, I don't know why we got this, because I barely play it now. Now, for this segment, I'm going to show off my records, starting now. And before you ask, of course I have a record player. It's just in my closet, collecting dust. Because I barely play anymore, and because we barely have any room. But oh well, I still love records, so I'm still going to collect them. Starting with the first one I got, ever. When we all fall asleep, where do we go? By Billie Eilish. Do you see who I stand for? This is the first album I ever got because of the significance it had on my life back in 2019. I really love this album. This was one of the very first albums I've ever listened to. Full on through, no skips, anything. And I really love how it is. <sighs> Second album that I got, Conveniently, Don't Smile At Me by Billie Eilish. Uh, I got this at my local Barnes & Noble. Saw this sitting around, it was the last one they had in stock and I just knew I had to get it. So yeah. I really love this album as well. Third album that I got was Song Machine by Gorillaz that I got for free. And how did I get this beauty for free? Well, my sister gave it to me because she accidentally scratched it and it skips now. But when I cleaned it off, majority of the skips were removed. I don't know how I did that, but yeah, I basically got this for free. Ha! Up next is something a bit more interesting. Good Kid Mad City by Kendrick Lamar. Now, you may have not expected this out of me considering that I've been talking about Billie Eilish for quite some time. Now, just because I love the Billie Eilish doesn't mean I love the other genres. I absolutely love rap. It's in my genetics at this point. And this album is no different. I really love it. And this is the deluxe version because I prefer the deluxe version over the standard. And I love the last song on the deluxe version a lot more than the majority of the songs on the standard version. It's called Now or Never. Uh, I really love this album. It's definitely a must listen. Second to last, the second rap album. Kamikaze by Eminem. Ah, you may have heard this beauty from 2018 because how viral this went. I really love this album. Really gives you a lot of energy when you want it. So yeah, that's why I got this. Again, from my local Barnes & Noble. The majority of these albums were from my local Barnes & Noble. But this, the first one to get from Barnes & Noble, but I got this on launch day. Say it with me. Happier Than Ever by Billie Eilish. I got this because Needless to say, I was really hyped for this album when it was announced, and I just knew I had to get this on vinyl the moment it was announced it was going to be on vinyl. And yeah, of course my favorite song from this is the title track, Happier Than Ever, and oh my god, I absolutely love this album, and I'm keeping it forever, and yeah. 
Dude, can, can you tell who I stand for again? And that's all the albums that I own on vinyl. Will I get more? Well, probably. I am anticipating Lil Nas X's album on vinyl, Montero. I will definitely be getting that on vinyl if it ever comes out. <sighs> Looking at you, Lil Nas X. Please, please release it. Also, I forgot to mention this. I was in my game shelf. My Nintendo Wii that I stole from my cousin. Uh, yeah, I have problems. I have two Wiis. Okay, that concludes the video. I'm not showing my face because I don't have my glasses on and everything. And yeah, I'm at a point in which I don't like showing my face anymore. I am going to do a separate video soon talking about the worst and greatest investments I've ever made. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, I am going to stop now because my voice is disappearing. And yeah, I have a sore throat now. Bye. Uh, why is it so hard to do this shit? Uh, God damn it. God, that is that that is a tight full mount. God, that's gonna be in the bloopers.